All right, everybody, welcome back to the It's Possible program. I'm your host and curator of Good Vibes, Tim Zemos. And for those of you that are new to the program, welcome. Please go back and have a look at some of the amazing content we've already been able to produce with um, some outstanding people. The real reason why we're here today for this video, and that is that um, for those of you that might not be as aware, but uh, living with hemophilia or bleeding disorder, one of the more complicated aspects of it is joint bleeds and joint damage. And so for those of us with a bleeding disorder, we don't necessarily bleed faster, but we generally bleed longer, meaning that internally into a muscle or a joint, if there is a bleed, it can occur over a period of time. And that obviously causes inflammation and swelling and pain in a joint. And um, that not only has short-term implications for all the reasons I just listed, but it can have very long-term implications as well, because once you've had a bleed into a joint, generally speaking, the chances of having a repeat bleed over the coming months or years is increased. And the more bleeding we have into a joint, then the more long-term damage we can also have as a result, such as arthritis and joint degeneration, um, pain, swelling, lots of different impacts you can have on your quality of life into older age. And so um, that's really why we're here today to talk about a very exciting piece of technology, um, a uh, AR joint scanner which is the first of its kind, as far as I'm aware, around augmented reality technology in the bleeding disorder space. And um, essentially what it aims at doing is, is helping to visualize the impact of poor management, mismanagement, or correct management on our joints over our lifetime. And so we have Murray White with us today, who's been very involved in the development process of the AR joint scanner. And so thank you for coming on the program, Murray. Good to see you again, Tim. Good to see you too. Now, if you could maybe just explain a little bit uh, around what the AR joint scanner is and, and how this whole project and piece of technology came to be. Uh, no, no problems. Uh, firstly, I, hi, I'm Murray. I'm the um, creative lead at Crash Bang Wallet. Um, you spoke earlier about this chain reaction of, of bleeds that can all be traced back to certain points in, in a young uh, person with haemophilia's life. Um, and uh, that's quite a critical point in, in your life, as you well know, when you're sort of transitioning to independent living and you're testing the boundaries, you know, sort of that sort of 15 to 18 year old um, point. Um, and this is the point when non-compliance really becomes an issue. You know, your parents have looked after you to a point, you're not quite with the adult um, treatment centre. Um, we really identified that as being um, a critical point to, for kids to really understand about joint health and, and managing uh, bleeds. Absolutely. And, and so when, when someone was to use this AR joint scanner, like what sort of information is available to them and, and what do they get out of it? The AR joint scanner effectively remaps your hand uh, mm -hmm. once you put your hand under it. It uses leap motion uh, control technology. Um, you, you stick your hand under the scanner and it effectively remaps your hand at varying uh, ages, um, up to about 75 years old. Um, and shows you the effects of um, taking control or not being in control of, of your hemophilia and effectively joint bleeds and remaps out the structure of, of your joints um, based on the damage that you may or may not have, um, have, have had happen to yourself. I mean, it's, yeah, that's a genuinely amazing piece of technology because I, I, speaking anecdotally for me, I wouldn't have even thought even five years ago that such a thing would be possible. Um, and so I'm just trying to think back to obviously myself as a teenager. And, and like you said, I think we all flirt with at least non-compliance or, or <laughs> towing that line around what I can get away with and, and what is the absolute limit of what I need to do to manage my health condition properly. And um, like, you know, I'm a very visual person, so I don't necessarily get a, a lot out of just reading information out of a book or being told something by a doctor or a parent, especially during those teenage years when your parents are the last people that you want uh, sort of doling information out to you. So, I mean, what, what an amazing thing for me to, you know, if I was in that position to put my hand in the scanner and have it concrete, visually laid out for me around this is the way that you're joints can go it can go this way if you do the sort of more appropriate right things or it can go this way if you choose not to follow that path and like that's what a powerful tool at our disposal to really hammer home that this is a lifelong condition and that you will have to have it into your old age and think about how it's going to affect your life so what what was the process of getting here oh i don't i wouldn't say it's revolutionary but i certainly hope it's going to have a a, a big effect but um yeah. This obviously came from, from quite a lot of um, focus upon 
um, recalcitrant patients on, on, on really understanding that, um, that non-compliance is a big issue for kids of a certain age. And unfortunately, once you have that, that first major bleed, it can start a chain reaction that will, will quite, um, quite majorly affect your life and what you're able to do through your life. Um, obviously, we understand now the benefits of active health and a number of things that you and I have spoken about, but really managing your joint health and, and your bleeds um, is, is critical at that age um, as they start to take responsibility for their own body. So this just became a really um, engaging way of, of reaching kids, mm. but more so it's, um, it's a shareable um, methodology. So the AR joint scanner um, was very much designed to be as much a, a social um, experience for, for you, uh, for people like yourself, uh, as it was to be an informative one that your, your, your doctor or your HTC nurse could, could take you through. So I guess the burning question is where will people be able to access this, this sort of technology? Oh, the, the intention is definitely to have it in the HTCs across the country. Mm, fantastic. So you rock up and right next to the vending machine, you've got your AR joint scanner. <laughs> oh, well, if it could vend a few M&Ms and stuff like that, it would make it slightly better. But, yes, I think that's the idea. No, I've got no doubt it's a, a team of hundreds, you know, that, that go into making such a piece of equipment. So, um, Murray, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you um, taking some time out of your very busy schedule to be with us and explain uh, what all the hype is about with this amazing piece of technology. And um, uh, for those of you that, like I said, are new to the It's Possible program, please come back, please like and subscribe and, and take a look at some of the amazing chats and amazing people we've had on in, in previous episodes. So um, thank you, everyone, for joining in today and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the near future. <laughs>